in the bottom left as Volder again we have Vash and in the top right player 2 a MV AKM playing the red Volder so they're going for the Volder mirror again both make them. from the other bear Ooh, that's an interesting opener. We'll see what this mage is gonna do. Mm, oh, I think he he's gonna like. I think the idea is that you yoink the center village before Valder heals on it, but Valder healed beforehand. So now it might like turn against you because Valder can get an early decap. Yeah, I mean, he was already on 60%, so it's not too big a difference. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be good. Like, he gets his groove an extra turn early. He gets to put a lot of pressure on uh, this mage, so Volder can run forward and throw a sword at it. Which Volder really wants to do. And yeah, both of them going thief opening this time. NBA game still hasn't healed Valder. Rise from your grave. Ooh. Might get awkward if he gets like pushed back right now. Yeah, I'm not really sure what he's going for at the moment. I guess like he's kind of caught off guard by this really aggressive Valder in the center. Oh, but he's these dogs are coming in very helpful. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Maybe hit with the dog from the mountain first to take less damage, but that's a small optimization. I guess he's like maybe a little worried that the dog on the mountain could be attacked by more things, so he wants that one to be on full health. Rise from your grave. Okay, this is interesting. Yeah. Going for the sword crit. Yeah. Oh, but he's really weakening that Valder. Yeah, really sending a dog army at him. And doesn't even heal like the weakened dog, he just keeps it there because it's like a crit option. Like if the other dog goes down, then that crit goes. But if he keeps both there, both Rise dogs have to get cleared. Grave. Vash has so much money this turn. Yep, there we go, dragon. And a uh, good mage heal just to keep Volder from dying. Yeah. So Vash went early dragon, and the AKM went early golem, so... It's gonna be definitely interesting how that's gonna play out, because... Uh... Yeah, you would think the dragon would basically counter the golem, but... He has to well, skip... The golem won't be able to to go to the middle at least so he'll have to stay in the terrain as a defensive option or oh he's just running it there. into a, into mage range so that okay, dragon's gonna eat a big counter attack yeah and mvakm he's just gonna clear the center Kind of like turtles his army together, does a big hit on the dragon. So the dragon killed a sword and is now going to eat a ton of damage for doing so and get surrounded. So that dragon is dead. There's like very little. He has to like dedicate resources to clearing units around it. Yeah, and only the mage and Valder can in reach, but Valder is low, so you don't necessarily want to like keep him at risk that way, especially when uh, the golem is closing in on him and you don't really have a counter to it anymore. I mean, next turn you will because the golem from Vash is coming up, but it looks like NBA game kind of took control of the of the game uh, so far. Yeah, he's putting in a lot of good work right now. From your grave. Dragon, you know, you lose your dragon, that's a big deal. 
And it doesn't even kill this mage with the sword crit, so... Bash not in the best position. He's got his own golem coming out, it's sitting on a mountain. Should be able to put in some work, but... Yep. The tried and true strategy of just putting your golem on a mountain. But MVAKM, he's just going to go around that. Kill like everything that isn't the golem. So keeps his commander in like a nice safe position. He's like, well, there's just going to have Groove next turn anyway, so you might as well keep him safe. He can just churn out another sword when he wants to. They're really like not worrying at all about counter attacks, I feel. Like, they just go in. <laughs> and yeah, surely enough, that golem's gonna go down. I guess, like, this is the point where you kind of want the Severian to start happening on Balder. As MVAKM, like, you just want to, like, surround your opponent's commander and Rise do as much damage as you grave. can. Like, he lost his golem, so they, they traded some big units with each other. And uh, I like this going for the heavy damage on the mage, because this opens up the harpy being able to be used in a lot safer manner. Yep. Well, they're not really, like, in threat of, like, dying right now. Ooh. Although he'll have to be a bit careful, because... Mage shields onto the other mage to crit from the forest, though. Rise from your grave. It's a good maneuver. Oh, but I'm looking at the time. Like, oh. we're on turn 12, and Vash has got less than a minute left on the clock. You're right, actually. And that's going to be a rough way to go out. Let's have a look at MVAKM. MVAKM's got 20 minutes left. So this is just going to come down to Vash just not having enough time. Yeah, I guess he's not comfortable enough to play fast, which I mean, it happens, but it can cost you the game like that. And at this point, MVAKM can't, like, doesn't really need to think too hard about what he does, he just needs to not throw away Valder. I actually think MV AKM could have finished that turn, used Valder to clear the sword in front and just had the dragon hit the opponent Valder. So <laughs> that's a rough way to go, like losing out on time, but he's only on turn 12, so yeah, that's playing pretty slowly. And I actually think that was a lethal for MVAKM at the last turn there. I think he could have drilled that sword with his commander. And uh... Dragon goes in and finishes off. 